All right, I am pretty excited for this one. So we're gonna be opening the Pokemon Sword and Shield Ultra Premium Collection Charizard Edition. This thing, <laughs> apparently everybody bought, got to buy one, which is pretty cool because uh, what they after what they did with the Collector's Edition for the 25th anniversary, that was just crap. But compared to compared to that, like this is awesome that everyone that wanted one could get it. I really like the alt arts for the Charizard cards. I don't think I care too much for the the V one, but the V Max and the V Star are really nice. So I'm kind of glad I got to open this. And I even like because I usually check to see if there are other like new cards coming out. Um, at the Pokemon Center website, this is still available. <laughs> so for anyone that doesn't have one, like, they made so many of these. Oh wow, this has like a super nice finish. This like feels really glossy. I was hoping like this would like, you could feel the bumps. Um, how do you even open this? <laughs> uh, you guys have to watch me struggle. I'm trying to stand this up originally. Let's see. Does it just... Oh, it does. Okay. Oof. I am really afraid of messing this up. Uh, okay, awesome. Wow, this has like such a nice finish. Hold on. I didn't even like wait on this. So this looks like the Gigantamax version of Charizard. Looks pretty cool. I've been playing a lot of Pokemon Violet and I missed out on getting him because I was taking my time trying to finish the game at a super slow pace. Okay. How do we take this up? I'm assuming we pull this. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. So what well, you guys are watching, so I'm at my new place. Um, I moved to a different state, and you're seeing me use the, the playmat that came with the EV collector box that I actually opened and have a video for. I think this thing is super sweet. I really like that they give you this. And they gave me one for Charizard, so hopefully, maybe I'll interchange them when I do different videos. So I'm really looking forward to this one. Yeah, that's cool. Like, this is my first time opening one of these collector boxes. Pretty crazy how they just have everything so neatly set up. All right, hopefully this is getting the shot. What's in here? I feel like a little book. All right, so let me. Oh, cool! <laughs> what the heck? This looks so creepy. Why did they not extend the image to the edges? What is? <laughs> what is this? I don't know if you guys have seen the other card sleeves, but all of them have, like, it goes to the edge of the sleeve. This is so goofy. <laughs> I mean, I never use these to be honest, so, um, whatever. Oh, cool, gold dice. What the? Did this just fall out? Oh, yeah. <laughs> all the dice came out. What the heck? It looks like this thing, this bag ripped. There's, there's some quality right here. Uh, put it back in the back. Actually, yeah, I've never. I mean, I've opened so many of these like collector boxes. This is, oh, this looks so weird. You can tell. This is like a really nice finish for. I mean, this is just hilarious that it came like this. What the? Who, who does this? Why is it like this? Right. I'll put that back here. Alright, let's see what else is in here. Okay, so this is uh always has to come with this. This coin is pretty nutty. Like is this what they use when they show it? that a Pokemon got knocked out from the card game? I have no idea. And oh cool, because a lot of them come with like some kind of coin, like if you buy the ETDs. This actually has some some weight to it. Hmm. Not bad. I com 
I really like that thing. So Fusion wasn't bad. The best card for me was the, the, the Espeon VMAX. But it comes with Evolving Skies. This is so awesome. I can't wait to open this. And he sets up the other cards everyone cares about. Okay. Right over there. Let's see what's here. Oh. The three cards are just put in like this? Crazy. It's, I love the stupid glasses, but I love the texture that they have for these. It always looks like fingerprints. Yeah, you see how like mine has ridges? Get the little lines separated. It's pretty nice. It's crazy. They just put in this like plastic, just assume that it's not to get beat up. Alright, put that down here. And we'll take out all the cards from this. This is so cool. Lost Origin, Lost Radiance. What's nice about like getting this is because now that we're coming to a close on the Sword and Shield set, uh, it's it serves as like a nice cap of like hey everything that oh cool what the heck is this? They have some really nice weight to these. Like they're like really good paper weights almost. I like this. I don't know if I'm, I might start using these just to put something on top. Put them on top of something. Let's, okay, so, so far. Let's see. This <laughs> is still. That still makes me laugh. Alright, I'll put these away later. I'm not sure what order they're going, but. This is a really nice box. And I love like that they have the magnet on top. Or whatever that they're using for it. It has to be a magnet. It's pretty cool. Alright, so we'll leave this here. And alright. So we're gonna go from left to right. You always guys gonna be last because obviously we like the Eevees more. I think it feels off, right? I just feel like it, there's less. Did I miss something? Let's see. Oh! Oh, and this actually has like a little... Can you see? This book was like right in that little sleeve. So this is just showing like everything. Oh yeah, it does have like a little bit of ah shiny fades. I wish I could have gotten this Charizard. Ah, oh, these are cool. <laughs> I can't believe this is an alt art. Like it doesn't look any different. This is pretty cool. Oh, who's she? Ah, rain. Chilly rain. It's the first time I ever got an alt art. It was from an ATV. So lucky. That's cool. I like that they're. It's like a look back at all the previous sets. I love my EBs. Got this one too. And Silver Tempest. So maybe they add the, like these as well. That has some good parts. Oh, this guy looks crazy. This man. Oh, such a cool. I love all the Pikachu's. Alright, we'll start opening them. I think there's gonna be that many, so we can go through this, this pretty quickly. I still wish I could have got this guy in Altar. It's like going for like 200 bucks today, I'm not paying that. That is way too much. That's cool. I might start using this as like my background because it's such a good, such a good display piece. Someone was asking for codes last time. There you go. You want them? Let's see. Oh, cool. We actually got it. a trainer card. Nice. I don't know if I've gotten this from the past, but I love these. That thing. Nothing else. Ah, oh, that'd be 
so cool to get that hit. I didn't know that this guy was new, that he was made for... I need to look that up again, but... That he was allegedly made for the Arceus game. There goes my one chance at getting this. Can I turn? Ooh, this is. There we go. I don't like flipping it. it, makes it easy. I just need it. Man, I can't wait to start making the, the cards for Violet and Scarlet. Even though it played so rough, it was a great game. The great news that for the Pokemon series. Hopefully they learn from all the mistakes that they made on that one and take all the improvements and the next one's gonna be even really better. Or the switch just needs to get better. Expecting much from all these cards. I mean, it'd be cool to get something, but to me, the biggest draw was all the Charizards. And now that they revealed what they're gonna have for um, the cool art art that they made for Zero Aura, oof. so I already have like whenever I think of like these cards or like cards that I really want to have in my folder, because you can only put them like three in a row, and then there's so there's like three, three and three, so there's nine total. Um, I'm gonna have this V, V Max, and the V Star on one of the rows. Then my Zero Aura, V Altar, V Max Altar, and then V Star another row. And then the, I was trying to get Me Too to be the last row, but they don't have a V Max Altar for it. So that kind of makes it a little crappy. It ruins my my idea of having like a cool set or a cool just like one page of all V V Max. Star, all tarts. We'll see. Maybe I'll do it anyways and just put something random for the me too. Maybe the Mew. Phoenix can surprise. This really nice old or I think Uki, does he do? I feel like I saw him do something. Uki's making one of the cards. I think he might be making one of the zero the cards. I, I'm Pretty sure. It was like really nice art. And Rekikius. Don't care for that card. Villain Starts. Oh, that was so fun. Villain Starts was for Sonic Plus. That was a really nice trade place. Oh, what the heck? I actually got something. <laughs> what? I was not expecting that. Nice. Okay. Look at that. Nice ridges. And it reflects so nicely. Okay. Good thing I'm doing this next to where I have all my sleeves. We'll see what it then said. And it's such a nice card. Was 
always makes me laugh because I, I think of like when people play the game, I'm not sure if they're using the really good cards or just whatever cards, but they like sort them so fast and then when they give it to the like oppo the opponent, the other opposing player, and sometimes they have to like reshuffle or do something. I hate when I see them just like not care for their cards and just like whatever, just like almost bending them. Like, dude, some of these are so expensive. Treat them nicer. Or maybe people are using like this copies instead of the actual like collector part of it. Ooh, nice. Let's go. Energy of the plant. Okay. That's pretty cool. <laughs> this guy looks hilarious. Can't believe they made a dessert Pokemon. I still like it. Maybe better than trash Pokemon. What the? What? I didn't get anything crazy. Yeah. I wonder why it was, um... Why the black card? But usually when it's this border, it means the... There's... At least some sort of rare. Like that star that I got earlier. Oh, I'm pretty sure the person that made this one was one that made the altar for Giratina and the... What? What is happening? It's not even rare. I'm getting that muzzle. Or right, fusion drive. Maybe could we get that push gun again? Oh, I forgot about these. Uh, look, this guy, Megumi Higuchi, he draws so well. Look at that. This puzzle looks so cool. I never liked this Pokemon. I think it's from but Ruby and Sapphire. Man, they look so cool there. That's so unlike. What? <laughs> what? I was not expecting this. Send your ace V Max. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have a alternate art. So this might be just yeah, five band graphics. So it's for sure not alternate. Still, that's pretty cool. I'll take it. Oh like, what is this pattern? It's like not the typical like ridges that you see with this one. That's odd. That's pretty good. Kind of crazy to get this in. Now it's from the fusion. I'm pretty sure open like a whole booster box of these. I really have not seen that before. Oh, black. I need some hits, but I'm, now I'm scared that all the hits on that are. My evolve skies get some. I mean, we haven't got an alternate art, so maybe maybe we'll get lucky. This guy looks so goofy. Reminds me of the Super Mario Centipede character. And the oh what? What is happening? A gold card? Training card. I don't know if Flypan Graphics made this. What the heck? This looks really good though. I wonder how they got this image. Maybe they just got the game, got an angle, and just took a screenshot. That's wild. Is that 
experience in a gun. What the? That's pretty cool. More than I could have hoped for from this. Awesome. There's a new one for me too. I have to have like a page for just all these gold cards that I just have laying about. Alright. I don't know if you guys see on the side, but I have Gloria here and I recently got red. So I'm trying to make like a cool supporter page for my collection. Um, I didn't even know there were so many nice supporter cards. I've gotten so in, like late into collecting Pokemon cards again that I just missed out on a bunch of awesome good looking cards. But it's not too late. Alright, If you don't want this, bleep. Oh, this Reapy looks cool. What is this? Looks like a store fight. Hmm. Or whatever it's called. Alright. Yes, now we get into the coolest. Wait. Okay, I'm doing this last, so I'm gonna do this out of order. We're going to do the ultimate first. Sorry, the Wally Spies always has to go last. Wait, they're the cooler sets, even if I get nothing. December, so in January we get the uh, Crown Zenith. That's gonna be so cool. Okay. I don't even know what cards this even has that I should look out for. Because I started collecting during Chilling Rain, so all these like older Darkness will play. Oh, I think Darkness has a Charizard. I don't know what it really has. That's hard to open. is so cool. Such a weird Pokemon. And every time I see that guy, I seriously think I need to like watch the movies. Because I have not. Like nothing, nothing for the one. All right, whatever. So now the last. Thing. All these guys. Can we get something good? Oh, oh my God! They got spoiled already. Let's have something. One, two, three, four. Man, this is so fun to open. Oh, it's such. Like actually getting some good cards, even though I wasn't expecting anything past the Charizards. That's cool. I like this. Uh, I miss opening these card sets or this card set. Jump off. This guy always reminds me of Gloom's like Final Evolution or Oddish Bioplume. Like he makes me think so much of Bioplume, but just a little different. 
<laughs> what is happening? This is some crazy, like, I know these aren't really the cards I want. I think I may have a copy of this from one of the booster boxes I opened from Evolving Skies. But just, just the fact that we're getting something is kind of nice. I've opened some booster boxes where you get nothing and it's just so sad and depressing. I don't know if this is similar to, or the, if the pull rates are similar to like a, a booster box, but this is wild because they have so many cards from all the different sets. It's crazy that you get anything at all. Probably, that was probably the last one that we were going to get with anything good. Well, we're right in. All that work of trying to be gentle and it was just a nothing card. This EB. See this how you draw an EB? Look at that rake plaza. You can just keep it. Alright, last one. That's pretty cool. We got like a VMAX regular, just one V card, a support, one of the trainer cards that was like so popular with these, and a rainbow rare. What? Wild. Like everything got hit except an altar, basically. Just the fact that we got like gold, rainbow, regular V, VNX, support, no altar. Oh, Well, it was okay. I'm pretty sure that V, that like it when I. Like in Raw V Max would have been the altar. And there we have it. Okay. I mean, overall, pretty cool. So, like, that is. And obviously, the Charizard. So, Gengar, this card is so, like, there's so much detail. I just wish that they didn't use the whatever holographic, like, material that you see for some of the cards that you just get in general. Um, it's like, it has, like, the same feels like this reverse holo. <laughs> but, I mean, it's okay. Regular Star EV, Cinder Aces. Such a cool Pokemon. This is the one that I picked um, Score Bunny when playing Sword and Shield. And I got Sword. A gold card? This is crazy. I like these. I don't know if, like, <laughs> I don't know why they just look really fancy. And the support guy. The super bug guy that gives you worse C4. I forgot what the guy's name is. A rainbow rare. And. The best part of the whole set, the Charizard V. I would open this, but actually, let's just open it. That was the whole point of this. Okay. And I'll save this right up. But one of the reasons I was trying not to open it is because I want to be very careful with this. Okay. But this is why we bought this. Best part of the whole freaking set. Charizards. Okay. Let's give this to people on it. Oop. Okay. Look at this. Charizard V. The Charizard V Max. Such a cool card. And then the. <gasps> wow! It's falling! <laughs> This is so cool. I love that it's fighting Mewtwo. And this is the reason why I was talking about talking to you guys about how I want the page to be set up because the Mewtwo V star, sorry, Charizard V star, but the Mewtwo V star 
matches this. It's just like giving you the look now for Mewtwo versus Charizard, where Mewtwo is like at the forefront and Charizard is in the background, but they're still fighting in this like weird mountain greenish area. It's so cool. So I can't wait to put that in my on my page, on my collector, on my binder. But these were the three that were so worth it, so I want to just bind them up or put put them in sleeves. Can't even talk. Too excited. I'm pretty sure these are cheap because so many people bought the this collector, this ultra mode, ultra premium collector. What the hell is this called? Ultra premium collection. Um, I'm pretty sure that you can get them for relatively cheap if you're looking for them. But I mean, three altar cards is so cool. Oh no, this one got like beat up. I don't know if you can see it. I'm like trying hard. <laughs> it looks so. What did they do to my card? It looks like it got chopped off. Ah, uh, that's fine. <laughs> I mean, it's not the most fine, but it's okay. It looks pretty weird. I mean, it's for me. It's not like I'm trying to sell this anyways. You know, when I have a collector, eventually if I stop collecting Pokemon cards, I would like to one day at least look back and be like, hey, this was fun. I really enjoyed collecting and opening. This one's not bad, doesn't have any of the damage that that VMAX one had, I don't think. Looks good. This is really cool art, I love that he's fighting Mewtwo. Like it's not the most detailed or impressive, but just like setting wise it's really cool. I'm pretty sure Mewtwo would win. So I'm going to end it with these, as you can see, this is how I want to set it up when I have my binder. So we go from left to right, B, B Max, Charizard, V Star. Such awesome design. See, this is the weakest to me. I don't know why, it just doesn't, doesn't have like the cool flare, like how this one just is burning everything, shooting up fire breath, a blast attack. And then this one just fighting a Mewtwo. I don't know, just doesn't, I mean, it's okay. It's not bad. It's altered compared to if they just used the five band graphics. It would have been lame. Yeah, it's so cool. Well, thank you guys for watching. Sorry this video is so long. Hopefully you guys are enjoying your holidays. I'm recording this towards the end of December, so happy holidays to everybody. And hopefully you guys have a happy new year. See you in the next one. Bye!